and gentlemen. Today I just wanted to do a quick demonstration video of how to throw a couch off a roof and then shoot it with a pistol. Um, I got this couch for free uh, like two weeks ago. Uh, there was pictures of it on the internet. It looked better than it was in person. If you'll come closer, you could uh, you can see it's all stained up. It smells like gnar death and it's just not that nice of a couch. So um, I just figured I would make a educational instructional video on something that would benefit everybody instead of it just sitting around wasting. So the first step into throwing your couch off the roof and shooting it with your pistol is you have to spray paint death metal on it. And I'll show you how to do that right now. That is how you spray paint death metal on it. And then once you've done that, you just have to sit here and, and look at it for a second. Um, yeah, it's spelled right. So after you've spray painted death metal on it, you have to gently set your can down at the peak of your roof. Make sure it doesn't slide anywhere. And then the next thing you have to do is just throw the couch off the roof. And I will demonstrate that right now. Um, oh god, oh god, that's gonna have to be good enough, um, that didn't go quite as planned, but that'll work, um, as an extra bonus, it dented the gutter, which is fine, it should still drain fine, but all you have to do after that is just simply pull your pistol out and shoot it. And that is how you throw your couch off a roof and shoot it with a pistol. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to do a quick update on my buying and selling. That's in shambles right now. Um, Friday, after work, I acquired this Ethan Allen Entertainment Center. Looks pretty nice, right? Not nice enough to sell to anybody, apparently. I took it to the auction, and they said they don't do entertainment centers anymore because they don't sell well, because everyone wants to mount their TVs to the wall now. So anyway, uh, I got this on Friday. I thought it looked nice, and hopefully someone will buy the thing soon. I got it listed for 60 bucks. I got this bed headboard that is insignificant, and I guess I can move this tarp. I'm not moving the tarp. You get the gist of it right there. I got that with the Ethan Allen thing there. Um, <clears throat> I also got a bookshelf on Friday from someone and from the same person I got that uh, Ethan Allen Entertainment Center from, I got a white leather couch. I've already taken the white leather couch and the bookshelf to the auction, so hopefully they'll sell all right. Still got this fridge, nobody wants this thing either. Um, a lady actually contacted me today about it, said she was interested in getting it on Friday, so hopefully she's legit and doesn't bail out like a loser. <laughs> um. I uh, got this yesterday, President's Day, on my day off. Um, a friend of mine gave some guy he met my number, and he called me up and wanted me to help him scrap some metal because he doesn't have a truck and needed help loading it. And he was going to scrap the stove. It's a very nice little gas stove in like perfect condition. Uh, so I was like, dude, don't scrap that thing, man. Let me have it. He's like, dude, if you want it, it's yours. So I was like, rock on, dude. So he gave it to me. Um, I listed it for 50 bucks and let go, but I ended up having a conversation. Pause, time out. This is my buddy's van he just bought. Look at that freaking rocker van, man. That thing is awesome. Uh, I uh, listed it. No, I was telling my, my cousin about my buying and sellings, and I told him how I got a gas stove. He's like, man, I've been looking for a gas stove. How much did you list it for? I was like, oh, 50 bucks. He's like, dude, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. But I was like, uh, I was like, nah, dude, since you're family, I'll give you a discount for 40 bucks. He was like, all right, dude, sold. So um, I got thinking about it and um, I felt guilty. I was like, man, I can't charge a family member for something, especially something I got for free. So 
I decided I was just going to give it to him for free. So, could have made some money on that, but uh, I decided not to. I decided I would just give it to him for free. So, um, all this is to say, since the last update video, I said I would probably have doubled or tripled my money by then. I haven't made a cent since then. I'm still right at 303. Uh, no one wants to buy my crap for some reason. Um, so that's that. Uh, at the auction on Thursday, <coughs> I got a, um, a bookshelf that I'm going to use for my Pokemon card stuff. What's up, dude? I'll show you that right quick. There's the bookshelf, tall and skinny, and lots of shelves. Should be able to fit everything just nicely. There's my eagle painting. Look at that eagle. Check it out. And then I got this oak cradle. Uh, I got that shelf bookshelf for six bucks. I got this cradle for five bucks. Um, I want to try to replicate this cradle and make a couple myself. Um, <clears throat> see if maybe I can make some for. A cheap amount of money and who knows maybe it'll sell for something maybe there's some folks out there that still appreciate a, a handmade object so got this cradle it rocks it's a rocking cradle look at that thing rocking Bert 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 <laughs> look at the thing rocking Bert um and uh oh yeah and then the uh the tub, I got a bathtub and I will uh, I will show you that bathtub video right now. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? As you can see, I am in a bathtub right now. Um, I found this bathtub on Craigslist for free. It's one of those fancy ones that has the, uh, has the jets that squirt you with high pressure and make you feel good. So anyway, I got this bathtub for free today. And uh, I went to pick it up, and as I was loading it, I put it on the tailgate, and I was like, man, this is a nice bathtub, I don't want to scratch this thing, so let me get something out of the truck so I can put it under and slide it in without scratching it. So, I do so, and as I'm trying to find something in the truck, bathtub falls over, and the edge of it cracked, as you'll see here. So, I ruined a perfectly good bathtub today that I thought I might be able to get decent money for. It was in perfect condition before I touched it. Uh, I was hoping to get like a hundred bucks for it because it was a nice bathtub and uh, everyone likes those super jets. So I ended up ruining it and wasting it. Um, I might cut the copper off of it and uh, <laughs> make two bucks and I was thinking about taking the pump off this thing too and uh, maybe doing something cool with that. So that's just a quick update on this bathtub I got. All right, that's my latest buyings and sellings and failings. Uh, hopefully by the next time I put an update video, I'll have actually made some money and not still be sitting at $303. Um, hopefully this chick buys this the Entertainment Center Friday. Uh, hopefully the stuff at the auction sells for good prices. And hopefully the next update video, I will have some more money in my pocket. Um, so that's that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing it all, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, educational lesson in the beginning of the video. And lastly, I just wanted to give a announcement that I have something absolutely huge and magnificent, groundbreaking, breathtaking, earth-shaking, cake-baking, uh, front yard raking coming up. Uh, I mean, this this is monumental. This um, I'll say it's a purchase, this purchase that I'm going to buy. Um, tune in. Um, let me think. I'll uh, I'll have this video. I'll have this video out Thursday night. I don't even know how many people actually keep up with my videos. Other people that I know and talk to in daily life that might already know about this, but um, hopefully some people do. Um, and uh, hopefully it's super cool and you guys like it. So I just wanted to give that announcement that something massive is coming up. Catch you all later. Peace. Pantera rules.